Hello family and thanks for joining me again. You don't know it's a brand new and a fresh episode of Gem World and today we have got reason about the tarot them. Well, more than a reasoning, we're gonna actually do a reading. You know, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna help people understand and see how it is that tarots really help play an important role in solving a lot of human psyche issues, a lot of human social, mental issues, you know, emotional things that you're going through. Tarots don't necessarily have the answer for it, but it can help you to accumulate a better emotional intelligence on these things. It's like tarot help me to accumulate a much better emotional intelligence over time by just constantly doing it over and over and also reading it for different people. I mean, I'm just going to do a general reading for all my followers out there. We want a reading for, for the part where we take. You know, we don't know where it's going to take we, but we just want an idea of the energy we will sur be surrounded by. Just a reading, anything, we want to be open to it. Never try to control the outcome of the reading. You have to be very open-minded to it and be accepting of any card we play. So I'm going to draw the first card. The first card. The Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles has an imagery of a man balancing two, two pentacles with an infinity sign wrapped around it. Now this is very symbolic and again when it comes down to tarot cards you have to look at the symbols. Firstly, the symbol of the sweet. Now the sweet is pentacles and pentacles represents earth, earth nature. So the signifier for this card playing first, it could represent you in the reading, could represent me as this person balancing life. As this person who is balancing our pentacles and pentacles are represented are representative of the different things that you've manifested on earth. It could be material, it could be your values, your goals, your ideologies. So this man juggling two pentacles, he's showing the continuity and the everlasting flow of infinity of life. That you have to try and balance the different things that's going on in your life right now. And it's just a cycle of up and down going. That's how the infinity sign is. It's not, it's not like an over. It goes like this because there's an up and down flow. It also links to the principle of rhythm. If you want to check that out, it's in, it's in the Kibalion and it's one of the seven laws of Hermeticism. And the principle of rhythm states that everything vibrates on the same rhythm and there's an up and down flow in the energy of the universe. So you're going to have times when you have a sad day and you're going to have times when you have a happy day. But take it with a grain of salt, it's all part of the same experience. It's all something that you should learn from. Don't try to discard one thing as negative and try to avoid it. Avoidance makes things, you know, perpetuate itself and be very persistent in your life. The Two of Pentacles really signifies that you have to come to an understanding of the balance of life between the good and the negative that happens. And every day is going to be a bright and sunny day. You understand. And if you look, you also see the waves with some ships on it. And the ship them, them look like say, oh, they're ready for turnover. So that symbolizes the, the rocky nature and the flowy nature of the energy and experiences that are happening in the life, in your life right now, my life right now, whoever this is applying to. So the next card we're going to pull, we're going to see how it is that it really ties into the story of the Two of Pentacles. The second card, the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is really a card that depicts a woman you see her sitting on her bed, she looks defeated, she looks haunted, like something that troubles her conscience. She looks upset, anxious, fearful. You know, she's grieving. Above her head, you have about nine swords away. And swords is a sweet that represents, you know, your mind, your thoughts, and the way you're going about things. So as I said, this is a card, it catch her upon the wrong side of her bed. If you get what I say, literally, because she's up on her bed. And, on the, and engraved within the bed, you have an image of someone defeating another person, like them, like, say, them a war. So it's like, 
you know, going again to what I said about tarots, it's all about looking at the symbolism, you know, even the simple thing them within the car. And you notice that she has astrological signs and roses on her sheet. And this is also symbolizing the hope that she needs to look forward to the hope that she's now going to look at because her face is covered. And once she draws away the veil from her face, she will now see the beautifully decorated roses and astrological signs. Now this card really calls for you to look at the way in which you are yourself internally. Look at how it is that you perceive yourself internally and, and pairing it to the Two of Pentacles. It really calls for you to evaluate your consciousness. Are you dwelling too much on the negative thoughts? Are you dwelling too much on the things that defeat you? Self-doubt, self-grief. You are the one who really holds yourself back most of the times, you know. And this October, October is, we're, escape, we're going into the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio is one of the signs of the highest spiritual energy outputs. So now we're going to ex be experiencing a lot of transformation. A lot of those deep, dark secrets, fears, and hopes and dreams that you had locked away will now start coming out again. So, now is the time for you to no longer put up these barricades and barriers to your mind and the thing them where you want to do in your life. Just do the do, do the right thing. Just follow your heart and your mind. The nine of ones again is a card that really calls for you to reevaluate and analyze your state of thinking. And so, you know, if you're experiencing grief, it's not, nothing wrong with talking about it. This is one of the outlets to really helping to heal from a lot of the traumas. The 901 talks about traumas. We face and we experience a lot of traumas in our life. Coupling that with the Two of Pentacles, it really speaks to are we balancing our life in the right way or are we allowing negative thinking to keep us down? Are you allowing grief and doubt to stop you from doing the simple little things that you want to do during the day or during the night? You know, you're willing to put in the work or not. So we're going to do one more card. And this is going to be the final card for the reading. It's a three card draw. You could either do a one card draw for the day or you can do a three card. You have different type of readings. You also have a 10 card reading, which is called the Celtic Cross. And that would be for like a more advanced type of reading. Let's say you want, you know, get a full reading for your life. Come you know someone will go and come and say, yo, yo, G, you know what I'm I like, yo, I want to know which part of job. Job day, I want to know if I'm going to make enough money in the future, I want to know if I'm going to get rich. Yo, you want to know if you're going to get married. You want to know all you them big, big life questions. Yeah. When not even James' health could answer for So you want to try to consult the tarot card. They're not around still, not around. No, watch no face. We we'll have different type of readings that can help you through, through them situation. Yeah. Going into the next reading now, the last card and the final card we drew is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is a card that really speaks to the different decisions that you have to make in life. It's, it speaks to the, the way in which you carry out your day-to-day -day life choices. Are you taking risks? Are you stepping out of your comfort zone? Now the Two of Wands, you look on it, you see a man standing on a castle. He has two ones in his hand, which represents his fire, his passion, his ideas, the things he wants to go for. And he looks over the horizon, which symbolizes hope. He looks over the horizon also, because this card symbolizes moving on. It, symbolizing, it symbolizes rising up and going for what you want. You have, you have set the plan, you put it in place, now it's time for you to actually go to achieve it. And it, it kind of, it's like a step up from the page of ones who is looking at the wand but he has a desert in the background which shows that all his ideas are hypothetical and within his head and he has not done anything as yet to actually materialize that and enough of we just talk 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 about the things that we should do and now actually do it so this card really symbolizes that you should go and do it. Just do the thing. You set the plan, it's time to go out and do it. You have the world literally in your hand. It shows that everything is within your reach. 
So you pair that with these other two cards, the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, and you see it tells a story about decision making, about life choices. It speaks to us balancing two mediums, two, two realities, or it could be more than two realities. You're balancing different things, different waves of emotions and experiences in your life. And a lot of the times you will face defeat and self-doubt. That's why the Nine of Swords is here. A lot of us, we do feel defeated. But these cards really symbolize that we should move on. We should keep going. You have to keep pushing, you see me? It really shows that your mind is really the biggest or you are your biggest enemy and your mind has to be empowered and strong to keep going you have to reinforce yourself you have to be around the right people who help you to also express yourself in the right way because a lot of the times we don't have an, an environment or a circle that allows for us to be supported you know emotionally economically in anything where you're creatively so it's very essential that you find yourself in different spaces that allows for you to express yourself and also to access different types of healing. If you like for art, if you like art, you like arts and craft, go to the museum sometime or go to the art walk or go on a downtown. Is it me enough for day up in the club every time I drink? Maybe that's not for you. Maybe the frost out thing is just not for you, you know. So try something different. Go a river, take a wash off, go hike on the mountain. You know, do something you're even afraid of. Go zip lining. Jump off a, off a Rick's Cafe. You know, go I took your epicon and blaze the highest herb this up. <laughs> you know, it really speaks to also taking risks again and stepping out of your comfort zone. And challenging your beliefs. Many of us are afraid to challenge the, the things that we already know and the way in which we do things. Many of us are afraid to do things differently and we really suffer from that because of the traumas we've experienced over the years we learn we grow human beings have always been evolving and there are different ways in which we can help help each other and help ourselves go through these things so tarot is one of them so i want to thank everybody again for tuning in this is the first tarot reading episode we're gonna have much more you know we're going to have daily readings again, weekly readings, monthly readings. So we're going to do it for different, different type, you know, different archetypes, different scenarios, situations, along with understanding gemstones and gem therapy. And again, big up to you for supporting and watching this. Yeah, man, you don't know. Without you, none of this can be possible. And I want to know for just keep your head up, keep pushing on. Keep doing you, you know, keep inspiring anything you do. Don't be afraid to share it because you never really know who out there so wants to see your stuff. Right? You are a big inspiration to somebody else. Somebody out there needs your energy. Trust me about that. Alright, so blessings again. One love, thanks for joining me. Until next time, peace.